Hey, buddy. How you doing? This is uh, Caleb Manuel Ortiz. And these are his parents, Oscar and Isamar. And uh, I'm going to give this to my wife for a second. And before I pick them up and present them to you, I always pray for a prophetic word. And the word I got uh, yesterday was, is, was quite a word. <laughs> All right. So you ready? Caleb Manuel Ortiz is a lion's cub. And he will devour the prey. God has put in him a warrior's heart. And he will try to go out of the lion's pride, but you must not let him. He will try to go out because of a warrior heart, but he must stay within the boundaries. It's going to be a challenge to raise him when he gets older. He's going to need parameters because as a lion cub goes out of the pride, it will get killed. But Caleb's going to grow up and he's going to go forth and conquer. He's going to conquer first like David did, get rid of the foxes, get rid of the coyotes, and then his faith is going to grow. He will take on, I'm talking about problems now. Then he will take on a bear problem, and then he will take on a lion problem. And as he is trained in the Lord, he will take on Goliath problems. He will conquer everywhere he goes, including academics. He will be great in academics. In sports, he will go forth as sports. Even in a military fashion, he will organize his life. Pretty long, isn't it? Hang in there, buddy. So come on. <laughs> he is um, Oscar, your Benjamin, son of my right hand, son of my old age, and he's going to bring joy to you. But you will have to be hard when he's young and keep them. For when he goes out, he will not only conquer these things, but he will conquer in business. He will conquer in relationships. He will not be the follower. He will be the leader. He will demand it. But because of the Christ-like faith in him, God's going to use him greatly. Amen. You receive that? There is a similar prophecy of this in um, Genesis 49 when Jacob blessed his 12 sons with Judah, with Judah, like a Judah, go forth and praise. And so we're going to pray for a little Caleb Manuel Ortiz first, and then I'm going to take him. Angels, you're going to help me. Take him around, my angels. So Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for him. We bless him in the name of the Lord. Father, we pray for Oscar, Lord God, and Isamar, that you would bless them and help them Lord God, do their parts, and where it can become frustrating, let them call out on you, Lord. Let them call out on you to do your part. We ask in Jesus' name. Everyone said, Amen. Amen. So we have a little certificate. I'm going to give it to you, Isamar. And we have a Bible that you would read. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. And then we have a celebration of three flowers. The red is the purity and the love of a mother. I'm sorry, the white is the purity of a mother. All right. The red is the bloodline of the father. And then this is the friendship of little Caleb. He's not a friend yet. Your children are not your friends until they move out. Remember that. As long as they're in your house, they are under your authority. Then when they go out, hopefully it changes to a friendship. All right, so I'm going to ask mom and dad to step down, and I'm going to pray for you, okay? Stand right there. Cindy, come behind him. Father, Lord, you give good gifts. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, and we pray, Father, that you would help Oscar and Isamar. Yeah. Um, we thank you for leading them into this church. Yeah. We thank you, Lord, for the godly genealogy yeah. that they bring with them. We pray, Lord, that it would remain strong and that it would multiply and that the fruit would re 
remain and that the impartation into not just their own children but nieces and nephews mm -hmm. lord god would go easy into their heart into the soil to take root and lord we bless them in the name of the lord in jesus name and everyone said amen, amen. amen. thank you for listening to the teaching from the word of god my name is paul height i'm the pastor of evangelical christian church located at 1325 Watertown Ave in Waterbury, Connecticut. We would love to have you join us and worship Jesus Christ this coming Sunday at 1030. Now may God bless you and may he continue to cause you to grow in the grace and the knowledge of his son, Jesus Christ.